Hi, and welcome to another DIY Engineers video. In this video, I'll be covering the HC SRO4 ultrasonic distance sensor. I'll be going over how the sensor works, the main specs, how to connect it to an Arduino, programming it in Arduino, and of course, testing. I'll also be showing how to connect it to an LCD and testing it with LCD. So let's get started. Now, let's go over a little bit of the basics on this HC SRO4 ultrasonic sensor. So, the way this will work is an ultrasound or ultrasonic uh, signal will be emitted. That signal will bounce off of an object whenever an object is in front of the sensor. And it will bounce back and be received at the receiver end. So if you think about it, if we say that the distance between the sensor and that object or obstacle is a distance D, then that's, that sound will travel distance D and then when bouncing back, another distance d. So it will travel 2d. So we can say that the total distance travel equals 2d, right? 2 times d. Now, we also know that the speed can be calculated as the distance over or divided by the time that it took to travel that distance. So we can say that the distance equals the speed multiplied by the time. Now, we know that, or it's a given, that the speed of sound is 343 meters per second, or 13,503.9 inches per second. So, we can use this fact, which will be the basis of this ultrasonic uh, distance or uh, sonar sensor, to determine the distance of objects, because since we know the speed of sound, and we know or we can measure with the sensor the time it took for this signal that was emitted to come back we can use that time to calculate the distance to the object so for the sensor it will be the speed of sound times the times for the text that signal to travel and come back divided by 2 why 2 because it's that total distance travel is back and forth and we only want this distance so that we divide that time by 2 now Let's go ahead and look a little bit of the basics on the sensor. It operates on 5 volts. It pulls 15 milliamps of current. It can measure a range between 2 centimeters and 400 centimeters or 4 meters, which is equivalent to 0.79 inches to as high as 157.48 inches. And it has a measuring angle of 15 degrees. So just think about it this way. It, it has eventually, it's essentially a range of things that it can measure if they're placed in front of it. You can just go ahead and just measure something that is, um, you know, way out to the right. Because that sound sensor, that sound signal, sorry, is not going to hit that body and come back. So now, if we look at how this sensor is connected, we see it's pretty simple. It has four pins. Uh, one of them will be VCC, which is connected to 5 volt on the Arduino. We have ground, which is connected to ground on the Arduino, and then we have the two signal pins, which are one is the trigger, the other one's echo. Trigger we're connecting to digital input output number 12 on the Arduino Uno, and the echo to digital input output number 11 on the Arduino Uno. You can connect it to other inputs and outputs, but for this one we're sticking to number 12 and 11, which will be consistent to the Arduino code that we will show later. Now let's go ahead and go over the Arduino code for this example. First we're going to go ahead and define the I.O. pins that we mentioned earlier, which were number 12 and 11 on the connection diagram or the breadboard diagram. Here we're going to call it trig and echo for the trigger and echo pins as trigger as number 12 and echo as a number 11. I will define three variables which are duration, distance in centimeters and distance in inches, all as float so we can have decimals. Um, I will set the trigger as an output and the echo as an input. This one I'll begin a serial connection so we can see the readings from the sensor in the serial window. And then we go into the actual void loop where we have uh, the digital write trigger setting it as a low, waiting 2 microseconds and then we'll set it as high for the trigger. Then we'll wait 10 microseconds and then we'll set it back to low on the trigger. After that, we'll use the pulse in function to see the echo and actually read uh, the time, which we'll, you know, we'll set as duration 
And this is basically what's going to allow us to measure the time in which we saw the sound, sound, sorry, the sound wave signal so that we can compute the total distance traveled. Uh, and then, you know, with that, use this two equation here for centimeter and inches to translate that duration uh, into a distance in inches or in centimeters accordingly. So after that, we're just going to use, use a serial window to print distance, the distance in centimeters with one decimal, followed by centimeters, you know, a backslash, and then the distance in inches. So now, one thing that I didn't explain in detail before um, was how how this actually works, which is kind of what I just mentioned here with the turn it on, off, and, and off again. Um, so I have an associated blog post for this video, which I'll have a link in the description uh, that will take you to DIYengineers.com. That's my blog, blog where you can see the blog post. So let me take you to that now. So first you can see that, you know, here's the diagram that we just saw, some of the information on, on that we have been going over, as well as the code. So if you want to copy and paste this code, the easiest way is to go to uh, my website, my blog, and copy and paste this code. You can just easily, you see, select it, uh, copy and paste it. So that's on DIYengineers.com. Again, link in the description, uh, so you can go directly to the blog post. Also, I include a link to the data sheet if you want to see more. Uh, and here it is. And that kind of shows a little bit of the detail that I just talked about on, on the pulse. So basically, you turn on the trigger, which will then generate this um, sonic burst or signal that then the echo will read. And based on how long this signal, you know, which is this depicted by the fact that this is goes into a higher in this curve on this you know output graph the duration in which this stays on will define that uh, you know your signal that then gets processed and then you know translated into a distance by the sensor so that's kind of like what the what the code is doing in that section that I was showing earlier so now we're back at the code and we're ready to run it so so now let's go ahead and upload the code and once done you should be able to see something on the serial monitor so here we're showing you know in inches and centimeters now let's go ahead and move an object and show it on the screen so you can see uh, how the value changes over that distance Around there we have it right about an inch and a half or to 1.4. It's closer to inch and a half, but that's what we're reading. And if I pull it further, you will see it, you know, increase in distance. And that is closer to three inches. So you can also see that each of those two sets of squares equals one inch and we have six of them total which is equal to the three inches so we're getting a pretty close uh, measurement now as mentioned before I said I would go with you guys over the application of this HC sr 4 sensor with a 1602 LCD so first you know this is the breadboard diagram that allows for that application this diagram is essentially the same that I covered in an earlier blog post for or in YouTube video for that 1602 LCD. So there's a link in the description and I'll also have it as a card at the end of this video. So you can reference that video or blog post and, and read more about it if you need to learn a little bit more about how to use this LCD. But essentially it's the same application for that. And the only thing we do is, again, similar to what was shown earlier, is connect the pins of VCC and ground of the HC SR4 uh, ultrasound sensor to 5 volts and ground and then go ahead and take the trigger to the IO pin number 12 and take echo to number 11. After that it's just you know going to the Arduino code so let's jump to that now. So now we're here at the code there will be some similarities to what we just run again we still have you know the same trigger echo pins so we left it the same 
you do have to call the liquid crystal library and then also call liquid crystal LCD and you know call the pins that we're using these are represented of the pins on the LCD again if you need to learn more about this please go to the other YouTube video that I have in the description or the other uh, blog post in the link description as well but essentially 9 and 10 are the RS and enable pins and then D4 through D7 go to IO pins 4 and 7 those are the data pins that provide the LCD with information to display um, then under void we have to begin the LCD and we already talked about setting the pin mode for the trigger and echo this we already covered the sequence and then here instead of writing to the serial uh, display we're gonna write to the LCD so we first go to LCD set cursor which is basically where the text will be written and this is at the beginning beginning of column zero so the first column and then the first line of text we're gonna write this and then in centimeters so what we're gonna be displaying is gonna be in centimeters if you want to change this to inches you can change this to IN then we move the cursor to this position to allow for printing this plus some space and we're going to write this variable, which is the one that we assign here. Again, if you want to change it to inches, just change this to characters to inches. And this displays a number of decimals that we're going to have at the end. After that, I'm moving the cursor to the second line and just I write in DIYengineers.com. You can write whatever you want in there. So once you have that set up, uh, you can go ahead and run it. Again, uh, let me go to the blog post and show you, show you where you can get this. So as I said, in the blog post I have here how to use it with the LCD display and I also referenced a prior blog post on you know if you need to know more about that uh, this is the same diagram that we just looked at and then if you need to copy and paste the code you can just literally take this one copy and paste it and continue on so now I'll go back to the Arduino ID so now let's go ahead I'm gonna change from centimeters to inches so here in the LCD print, I'll change the parentheses to inches so it's clear on the LCD display when we see it and change this so that the variable we're calling is the distance in inches. So then after that, let's go ahead and upload the code. And now that we're done uploading, let's take a look at the LCD. We can clearly see the inches called out, sorry, the LCD measurement displayed in inches and it says between 2.9 and three let's jump in between those two this board that i have here actually two squares of them equals one inch so you can see here this is one inch two inches three inches and this right here is the object that we have so here should be about two inches and you can actually see that i have there's some distance between where this is placed so like right here and the sensor so like if I move it a little bit over it might be more accurate and it's close enough jumping between 2.0 and 2.1 so you can see it's pretty accurate of course not everything is going to be a perfect box perfectly squared in front of your sensor so there will be some error depending on the uniformity or lack thereof of you know the object that you're looking at but in general it works so if we get a little bit closer we get it to about an inch and then we can also pull it back and get the three so that's it with the use with the LCD and this also concludes this video so I hope you liked it uh, if you did please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing thank you and I'll see you in the next one bye